Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the Jacobson methodologies. The Jacobson methodologies covers the entire life cycle and stress traceability between the different phase, both forward and backward. This traceability enables a reuse of analysis and design work. The heart of this methodology is the use case concept which evolved with objectory that is object factory for software development and this methodology can be categorized into two different phases they are object oriented business engineering that is OOBE and second one is object oriented software engineering that is OOSE when it comes to the object oriented software engineering object oriented software engineering also called objectory is a method of object oriented development with a specific aim to fit the development of large real time systems. Object tree is built around several different models, which includes use case model, domain object model, analysis object model, implementation model, and test model. So when we discuss the use case model, the use case model defines the outside that is actors and inside that is use cases of the system behavior. The domain object model, the object of the real world are mapped into domain object model. The analysis object model presents how the source code should be carried out and written and finally the implementation model represents the implementation of that system and when the implementation models are finalized the last set that is a test model occurs the test model constitutes the test plans specifications and reports so these are the object oriented software engineering or OOSC phases and when we come to the object oriented business engineering the object oriented business engineering is object modeling at the enterprise level use case again are the central vehicle for modeling providing traceability throughout the software engineering process OOBE consists of analysis phase design implementation phase and testing phase in the analysis phase the analysis phase defines the system to be built in terms of the problem domain object model requirement model and the analysis model the analysis phase is iterative but the requirement and analysis model should be stable before moving to subsequent models design and implementation phase consists of implementing environment must be identified for design model and the analysis object are translated into design object that fit into the current implementation in the testing phase there are several levels of testings and techniques the levels include unit test integration test and system test in basics and these step includes or ensures the quality of a software So my dear students, as we mentioned, this methodology, that is Jacobson methodology, it covers the entire life cycle and stress traceability between the different phases in both forward and backward. And this traceability enables reuse of the analysis and design work and heard of their methodology is the use case concept which evolved the, as the objectory of this model and this Jacobson methodology introduced the use case diagrams into the system and this use case will be discussed in uh, UML set of diagrams and it is one of the famous or important set of diagrams we are using for system analysis as well as object modeling concepts so my dear students hope you had understood this so dear students kindly go through this assignment question the assignment question is write in detail about Jacobson methodology so many students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the difference between algorithmic decomposition as well as object oriented decomposition so see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best